Greetings, and welcome to Dave's Eye, episode no, 7, for February 25th, 2016. This past Monday, Monday, I was listening to the No Agenda yeah. show, and I heard something which gave me the spark of an idea. I paused the show and went to go grab my digital recorder, and I recorded a clip from the show, and then I recorded several more clips. Each time I'd hear something, and then I'd pause and rewind the show, and then go get the recorder on and record whatever it was that I'd heard. On Tuesday, I took those clips and cut them down into the bits I needed, and then yesterday, I put them to music. It took me about a half hour to create the music, and then a few hours to incorporate the clips I recorded. I was done yesterday afternoon, and I uploaded it onto my Reverb Nation page. And then I tweeted the link to Adam Curry, who responded and said, Seriously good stuff, man. I generally don't disagree with him, and this was no exception. I am really pleased with how it turned out. The name of the song is Little Green Men, and it is available for free download on uh, my uh, website. I've probably listened to it about a dozen times since I completed it. I could have spent more time refining it, but I'm... And I probably shouldn't have jacked the melody from an old movie soundtrack, but that's what came into my head for some reason. I just let it flow through. I went with my first instinct, and then cut, print, and release. That's how I generally roll. I don't spend time refining my ideas. I have an idea, and then I just put the idea out there. I get at a decent tape where I hit most of the notes right, and that's all I need. I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not a virtuoso. I have too many ideas and too little musical talent to bother trying to be that kind of musician. I'm an idea guy. I get one idea done and I'm on to the next idea, because I have lots and lots of ideas. I wish I had the time to devote to them, and the resources to achieve them. The only reason I was able to get done with my song yesterday is because I started work at 4 a.m., which led me to be able to quit work early. That's how I had the time to get this done yesterday. But I can imagine a scenario where I didn't have to push buttons for eight hours a day. I can imagine having the resources and the time to really bring some of my more ambitious ideas to life. This is the kind of thing that I can do alone, but posting a song that hardly anyone will listen to on the interwebs isn't the kind of significant impact that I'm trying to achieve. I can do more. I can do a lot more, but I am greatly limited by my lack of resources. I'm I've created a lot of great stuff over the years with my little time and no resources. I'm not Just imagine tickling. what I could do if I were set free. This is beautiful. I'm still yet to receive my first dollar in donations. But I'm not out here laying down the hard sell to get people who can't afford it to send me a fiver or a tenner. If being rich was a priority to me, I would be rich. If all I wanted to do was deceive people, they would be deceived. Because I know exactly how it works. I would be good at it, if that's what I set my mind to. All that takes is the callous disregard for others, enough to go and take it from me. And that's why I won't set my mind to do that. Because I'm not callous, but caring. I'm not selfish, but selfless. What I've set my mind to is considerably harder than me. I'm here doing the thankless and lonely job of trying to save humanity from destruction. This isn't about my own well being. This is about everyone. Who are you going to trust? The Joel Osteens of the world who wear their fancy suits so they can look good on this, camera and get people to send them millions of dollars so they can build themselves giant mansions here. and never give back anything other than As empty promises of salvation? Sort. Or me, who will engage in none of that nonsense? You can't explain it. These are not quality human beings, and that's exactly why they are rewarded with the vast riches they receive. There is nothing at all righteous about them. But it's power. They are thieves and liars who live in the fear that one day they will have to look a profit. You can tell them how they react, like uh, what happened when I tried to go have a chat with Claude Bowers. He definitely does not want to look a profit in the eye. Or when Luke Rutkowski puts a camera on Anderson Cooper, or Chris Matthews, or Lord Rothschild, or Rand Paul, they run away like frightened little cowards. They cannot stand in truth. They flee from the light, and that is why, with a little help from my friends, 
All we need is a truckload of flashlights and a crowd of people shining them in their direction. We can turn this thing around. I have never advocated for violence, and I never will. But when people react violently to light being shown in their direction, you need to consider that what you're doing is working. And instead of shutting up, you turn up the brightness. Dust spoke Dave's eye. Namaste.